YouTuber David Dobrik gets dropped by several brands such as DoorDash, HelloFresh, and others, post his misconduct allegations surfaced on the internet. Recently, several brands announced that they would end their collaborations with the YouTuber David Dobrik, following the news of his misconduct allegations coming to light about one of his former vlog members, reported E! Online. According to the report, on March 19, 2021, a representative from DoorDash said that the brand profoundly condemns the behavior of the Vlog Squad members and announced that they have terminated the sponsorship of David's podcast, Views. The representative said that their horrific misconduct is incongruous with DoorDash's values. He continued that it doesn't represent the communities they strive to create. HelloFresh, too, has ended their partnership with the YouTuber. On March 20th, 2021, a spokesperson from HelloFresh confirmed the news. The spokesperson revealed that they do not have any plans to work with the Vlog Squad again in the future. In a statement by EA Sports, the representative also confirmed that they have not been working with David since the month of April 2020, and further added that they do not intend to collaborate with him in the future as well. Furthermore, Dollar Shave Club also terminated its partnerships with the YouTuber. They said that they have made the decision to end their relationship and cancel all planned activity with the influencer. SeatGeek, which is a renowned ticketing company that advertises with Vlog Squad's David Dobrik, revealed that they are reviewing their partnership with the influencer. It was on March 16, 2021, that a woman alleged she met several Vlog Squad members, including David and Dominika Zegleitis, in the month of November 2018, when she was 20 years old. In the interview, she claimed that the YouTuber had filmed her and Dominika's entering a bedroom, where the duo had a sexual encounter. Explaining it further, she added that she was too intoxicated to give consent. Several days later, after the alleged incident took place, a video titled, She Should Not Have Played With Fire, was dropped on YouTube which was later deleted at her request. Currently, Dominikas is no longer a part of the vlog squad. On March 16th, 2021, David acknowledged his mistake and apologized for the content he posted earlier on his podcast. David Dobrik's net worth is $20 million, reported Celebrity Net Worth. David is considered to be one of the most popular and highest paid social media personalities in the world. David Dobrik's videos often cover real-life situations, semi-scripted scenarios, and often feature his former Vine collaborators. Business Insider published an interview with a woman who spoke out on the condition of anonymity that alleged she met several Vlog Squad members, including David and Dominika Zegleitis, in November 2018 when she was 20 years old. In the interview, the woman claimed David filmed her and Dominikas entering a bedroom where she and Dominikas had a sexual encounter. However, she explained she was too intoxicated to give consent. According to Business Insider, a YouTube video titled, She Should Not Have Played With Fire, was uploaded days after the alleged incident occurred. At the woman's request, the video was later deleted. At this time, Dominikas is no longer associated with the vlog squad. E! News reached out to him for comment on March 16th and we have yet to receive a response. Before the social media star publicly spoke out about the accusations the same day Business Insider's article was published, his attorney told E! News David will be addressing his community directly. Anyone who knows him knows he does not condone misconduct in any form. Vlog participants provide consent before anything is posted. Whenever consent is retracted, posts are removed. Any insinuation of wrongdoing is inaccurate and defamatory. However, following Business Insider's story, several brands announced they would no longer work with the YouTuber. On Friday, March 19th, a spokesperson from DoorDash told E! News, DoorDash profoundly condemns the behavior of the Vlog Squad members and we have terminated our sponsorship of David Dobrik's podcast, Views. This horrific misconduct is incongruous with DoorDash's values and does not represent the communities we strive to create. Our thoughts are with all those impacted. Additionally, a spokesperson for HelloFresh shared a statement with E! News on Saturday, March 20th. We can confirm that we are no longer working with David Dobrik or any member of the Vlog Squad, read the message, and do not have any plans to work with them again in the future. We are aware of the allegations against David Dobrik. We haven't worked with David since April 2020 and can confirm we are not currently working with him nor do we have any plans to in the future," an EA Sports spokesperson said in a statement to E! News on March 20th. 
We expect any influencer or celebrity talent we work with to conduct themselves in a manner that is consistent with EA's values and policies. Moreover, Dollar Shave Club told the New York Times they were ending their partnerships with David. We've made the decision to end our relationship and cancel all planned activity, a representative for Dollar Shave Club told the publication. SeatGeek, the ticketing company that advertises with David, told Business Insider it was reviewing its partnership with the YouTuber. Dobrik also said in the video that he is no longer friends with Dominika Zeglatis and doesn't stand for any kind of misconduct, after a woman came forward alleging Zeglatis sexually assaulted her when she came to the Vlog Squad's home to film a video in 2018. A spokeswoman for DoorDash said the company has terminated its partnership with Dobrik. DoorDash profoundly condemns the behavior of the Vlog Squad members, and we have terminated our sponsorship of David Dobrik's podcast views, the statement read. This horrific misconduct is incongruous with DoorDash's values and does not represent the communities we strive to create. Our thoughts are with all those impacted. Meanwhile, an EA spokesperson tells ET, We are aware of the allegations against David Dobrik. We haven't worked with David since April 2020 and can confirm we are not currently working with him nor do we have any plans to in the future. We expect any influencer or celebrity talent we work with to conduct themselves in a manner that is consistent with EA's values and policies. A spokesperson for HelloFresh said, We can confirm that we are no longer working with David Dobrik or any member of the Vlog Squad and do not have any plans to work with them again in the future. In a statement to Business Insider, Dollar Shave Club said, The actions and comments made by David Dobrik as well as some members of his team are very serious and do not align with DSC values. Sexual assault and hateful language of any kind is unacceptable in any environment. We've made the decision to end our relationship and cancel all planned activity. The allegations against David Dobrik began with former Vlog Squad member Seth implicating the Vlog Squad for violating his consent. The story gained traction very quickly, prompting others to share their experiences as well. After the story started to gain traction, two female extras from one of the vlogs also came forward to share allegations that they were forcibly intoxicated and coerced into a threesome. In light of the mounting allegations against David Dobrik, major brands that have supported the internet personality are now starting to pull their deals with him. Dollar Shave Club, DoorDash, and EA Sports have officially commented that they're ending all collaborations with David Dobrik. SeatGeek, one of David's former collaborators who has helped him with multiple car giveaways in the past, has put their working relationship with David Dobrik under review. The move comes as a massive blow to Dobrik's ventures as only YouTube is left as his viable revenue stream as of now. The situation is still developing as Dobrik's partners begin pulling out as the claims worsen.